the new lawyers will now give their undertaking, which will be administered by His Lordship, the Chief Justice, and Chairperson of the General Legal Council. I shall abide by the precept and join in and practice the profession in accordance with the legal profession in everything that I do I will uphold the honor and dignity of the legal profession so help me God the Legal Profession Act 1960, the General Legal Council, qualifying certificate under Section 13, subsection 3 of the Legal Profession Act 1960. This is to certify that the named person has satisfied the council that he has attained the necessary standards of proficiency in the law that he has obtained adequate practical experience in the law and that he is otherwise qualified to practice as a lawyer and accordingly that he is entitled to be enrolled on the role of lawyers in accordance with the provisions of the above act. Signed by the chairman of the General Legal Council and also signed by the Secretary of the General Legal Council. May I now respectfully call on His Lordship, the Chief Justice and Chairperson of the General Legal Council, to present the certificates to the lawyers. Elena Aqua. Evelyn Joyce Aqua. Godwin Aqua. James Kwako Akwe. Anastasia Asante Amaji. Judith Emmanuel Aka, Yvette Abigail Engel, Solomon Essel, and now. The John Mensa Saba Prize, Emmanuel Yabuajan. <laughs> Emmanuel Yabuajan. John Mensa Saba Prize. Well done. Congratulations. Let me take this opportunity to offer you some pieces of advice as you begin your legal career. In the coming months and years, we are going to learn about the law practice from real life clients in different cases and transactions. You have a choice to be either busy or too lazy about. 
Both have consequences. Hard work will reap you bountiful harvest, but indolence will render you an impoverished lawyer. The choice is in your hands. As you begin this journey, know that you could have a serious conflict with one of your colleagues on a case that you are working on, but you can still go about working with that colleague on other cases. Learn to disagree with your opponent without being unpleasant. Strive to advocate to your client's position, but still treat yourself, your colleagues, and the court with great respect. It is important to always maintain a pleasant and professional attitude, even when you are frustrated by the actions of your opponent, and in some cases, by the bench. The use of intemperate, offensive, and abusive language in professional dealings must be fiercely resisted at all times by all lawyers, no matter the height of the temptation. Lawyers should refrain from the use of offensive language or behavior before the courts. Learn to take a cue from the bench. The ethics of the legal profession in Ghana falls on the use of such reprehensible language. The practice whereby some lawyers also engage the media to vent out whatever they want to say against the bench and argue the cases of their clients using abusive language even when such cases are subjudicated must stop. Take the ethics of the legal profession even more seriously at this early stage of your career by developing good habits forthwith. The Disciplinary Committee of the General Legal Council will continue to ensure the proper conduct of all lawyers whilst ensuring that the clients of lawyers receive the required standard of work. However, frivolous petitions against lawyers will not be entertained. You must therefore conduct yourself in a way that even if a complaint is lodged against you by a litigious client, you will not be anxious because you know that you have stanchly discharged your fourfold duty to the courts, clients, colleagues, and the community at large. Always remember that a lawyer's real success lies in bringing peace to the parties and doing that which is fair and not in taking undue advantage of an innocent client or fueling rancor where there should be none. Over the last years, the General Legal Council has been working tirelessly to ensure that the various law faculties feeding students into the law school meet the required standards that will make their professional training more effective. This year, the Council has taken steps to publish for the first time the outcome of the joint monitoring exercise with the National Accreditation Board to enable all interested individuals and stakeholders to observe the broader issues confronting legal education in Ghana. At the professional level, the development of essential teaching methods, as well as the provision of a conducive environment for effective learning, will continually receive the needed attention by the Council. The Council will continue to ensure that professional legal training focuses more on ethics, professional skills, and procedural rules so that assessment is rather based on the student's preparedness for practice. The General Legal Council, through the law school, will also enforce the dress code at the law school, and recalcitrant students will be sanctioned accordingly. The Council is currently preoccupied with developing measures that are aimed at improving the capacities of the various institutions running the LLB program and restructuring the operations of the Independent Examination Committee to enable a discharge its mandate more efficiently. The General Legal Council will also ensure the full implementation of its legal authority to admit only students who obtain their LLB degree certificates from universities approved by the Council. All universities offering the LLB program will undergo a more rigorous screening process before they are approved. The legal framework to implement this is underway, and the Council will ensure broader stakeholder consultations in this regard. The universities who will certify the laid down requirements of the Council will eventually be given further approval to run the professional law course under the overarching supervision of the Council. Let me conclude by reiterating that the practice of law in Ghana and all over the world, especially in the common law jurisdictions, is one that requires commitment and strength of character. Geoffrey Chaucer remarked in his thought-provoking book, The Canterbury Tales, 
that patience is a conquering virtue. Each and every one of you has endured and surmounted many challenges in life to make it to this point. The many challenges you have surmounted will not end today. Life is full of challenges. Strive to work hard to either overcome or minimize the challenges you may be confronted with. As lawyers, I wish you great success in your career and may God bless us all. Thank you for your attention.